This is a review for the Dyson Big and Quiet. We tested the BP03, which has a HEPA particle filter and what looks like a fibrous carbon filter. The BP04 is a step up. It's about $100 more expensive and it has a slightly better K carbon filter that also filters nitrous dioxide. Otherwise, outside of color, it's all but identical to the BP03. The BP06 is a step down. It's about $100 cheaper than the BP03. Unlike the BP03 you see here and the BP04, it does not display most of these readings, and it doesn't feature app integration. Among these three models, the BP03 is the most popular option. It's a good compromise between the BP04 and the BP06, which is why we tested it. Moving on to general specifications for this model, this unit is about 33 inches tall, it has a base diameter of about 14 and a half inches, and it weighs just under 25 pounds. This unit again does have a HEPA particle filter. It has what looks like a fibrous carbon filter and all big and quiets, including the BP03, have a selective catalytic oxidation filter, which traps and destroys formaldehyde. Air enters this air purifier through this bottom base here. It travels through the holes in this outer covering, then through the HEPA filter, then through the carbon filter, then through the selective catalytic oxidation filter, and then finally it exits through the top of the unit here. This unit features 10 fan speeds, a sleep mode, and an auto mode, and it has a number of air quality readings, including a PM 2.5, PM 10, HCHO, a general VOC, NO2, temperature, and humidity reading. This unit outputs at about 200 CFM, and it usually retails for around $1,000. Moving on to things that we like and dislike about this unit, the first thing that we really like about it is the fact that it has a selective catalytic oxidation filter, which traps formaldehyde. Carbon filters most VOCs and odors, but not formaldehyde. So if this is important to you, if you have a formaldehyde issue and you need to remove that formaldehyde with an air purifier, then the Dyson Big and Quiet is uniquely able to solve that problem for you. We also really like the fact that this unit has a HEPA particle filter. HEPA is the gold standard for particle filtration. A HEPA filter captures 99.97% of particles that travel through it, and you do get a HEPA filter with this Dyson Big and Quiet unit. We also really like the fact that this unit has substantial gas filtration media. Now its carbon filter does look like it's only a fibrous filter that's coated with carbon, but there's still a lot of gas filtration media there, uh, much more than we see on most other air purifiers that we've tested. So that is another strong positive for this unit, is the fact that it does offer substantial gas filtration media. Another strong positive for this unit is the fact that it has a plethora of air quality sensors and it shows the readings for all of those sensors on its display. Many competitors also have particle sensors and readings for those sensors, but most of them are much less accurate than the sensor that you get with this Dyson unit. Most competitors also don't have all of the additional sensors that you get with this unit. Most competitors don't show formaldehyde levels. They don't show nitrous dioxide levels. They don't show a temperature or humidity reading. So you do uniquely get all of those readings with this Dyson unit and that is another very strong positive for it. We also really like the remote and app control that you get with this unit. You can control this unit with the Dyson app and also monitor all of its sensors with the Dyson app, and you can also control it with an included physical remote control. Uh, the remote control can be seen here on the front of the unit, and you simply pull that remote control off of the unit, you can use it, and then stick it right back onto the unit as it sticks there magnetically. And that is another very strong positive for this unit is the fact that it can be controlled not only with that physical remote control, but also with the Dyson app. Another positive for this unit is its low noise output. It is big as its name suggests, but it's also very quiet as its name suggests. Now that does come with a very big caveat. This unit does have very low airflow for its size. So yes, it is quiet, but it's not like it's pushing a lot of airflow through the unit and it's still quiet. It's pushing a relatively low volume of air through the unit and because of that, it has low noise output. Nevertheless, this unit is relatively quiet and that is a positive for it. The Big and Quiet also has good energy efficiency. Even with relatively low airflow, if we divide its airflow by its power draw, it has relatively high ratios compared to most competitors. So that is another positive for this unit is that it is highly energy efficient. Moving on to things that we don't like about this unit, the first thing that we really don't like about it is its low airflow. This unit outputs at only 200 CFM, which means that only 200 cubic feet of air moves through its filters each minute. Uh, that is very low airflow for its size, that is very low airflow for its price, and that's relatively low airflow overall compared to most other air purifiers on the market. Yes, there are very small air purifiers on the market that only output at around 100 CFM, but most air purifiers that we've tested, many other competitors on the market have much more airflow than this unit. And so that is a negative for the big and quiet is its low airflow. Now we do have to distinguish here between air projection and airflow. This unit is marketed for large rooms because it can project air very well. 
it can project air very far away from the air purifier. The thing is that you don't need to project air far away from the air purifier to properly clean air in a large room. Clean air naturally diffuses in a large room. The higher the airflow, the greater the volume of air that is being processed by the air purifier's filters each minute, that is going to affect its area of coverage, not how far it projects air away from itself. So for example, the Medify MA112, it can clean almost three times as large of a room as the Big and Quiet, not because it projects air any better, it certainly doesn't, but because it has almost three times as much airflow. The Medify MA112 has over 500 CFM of airflow. That means that it moves almost three times as much air through its filters each and every minute, and that's what gives it almost three times the area of coverage as the big and quiet. Air projection doesn't have anything to do with the area of coverage equation. Another big negative for this unit is the fact that it has very low airflow for its price. If we divide its airflow by its price, we get a CFM to dollar ratio of only 0.2. This is the worst ratio of any air purifier that we've tested so far. So that is another big negative for this unit is the fact that it has a very low CFM to dollar ratio. Another surprising negative for this unit is the fact that it doesn't have a pre-filter. Directly behind this outer covering is the HEPA filter. There's no pre-filter. On most top rated competitors, you get a separate washable pre-filter in front of the HEPA filter. What that does is hairs, large fibers, things like that, they accumulate on that pre-filter and they extend the life of the HEPA filter behind it. You don't get a pre-filter with this Dyson unit, which we think is going to negatively impact the filter life on this unit. Right along those same lines, another negative for this unit is its filter order. It has this outer covering, then its HEPA filter, then its carbon filter, then its selective catalytic oxidation filter. So the majority of its filters are behind its HEPA filter in its filter stack. With top rated units we recommend, those units put the HEPA filter last in the filter stack. So what happens there is those units have multiple filters, not just the pre-filter, but multiple other filters also protecting their HEPA filter. You don't get that again with this Dyson unit. And that is another thing that we believe will negatively impact this unit's filter life. Another negative for this unit is its warranty length. This Dyson unit only comes with a two year warranty. Most competitors at the same price point have a much longer warranty. For example, IQ Air units come with a 10 year warranty. The Austin Air Healthmate, it comes with a five year warranty. Many Medify units come with a lifetime warranty. Again, with this Dyson unit, you only get a two year warranty. And again, at its price point, we think this is a very large negative for this unit. Finally, the last negative for this unit is the fact that it is really large and heavy, especially relative to its airflow. Again, it weighs just under 25 pounds. There are casters on the bottom of this unit. So if you have it on a particular floor and you just need to move it around on that same floor, it will be easy to move it around on that floor. But anytime that you actually need to pick it up, this unit is very heavy and there are no handles on this unit. You have to pick it up from the bottom. So that is definitely something to keep in mind with this unit. It is big as its name suggests, but it's also heavy. And so that is a negative for this Dyson unit. When it comes to general recommendations, the bottom line here is that you do get a long list of positives with this unit. You do get formaldehyde filtering. That is a unique feature that you do get with Dyson units. You do get extensive sensors. Again, a unique feature of Dyson units. This unit also has low noise output and good energy efficiency. So if you value these things, especially the more unique features of this unit, then the big and quiet may be worth it to you even at its $1,000 price point. It's still overpriced, but you may really need these unique features. And if you do, it may be worth it to you. For most people though, we think it's a terrible option. Top rated units we recommend actually have pre-filters. They also have HEPA filters. They also have carbon gas filters and they have more airflow than the big and quiet at a much, much, much lower price. And so most consumers will do much better buying one of these top rated units over the big and quiet. See the description of this video for a link to the latest updated list of all of those air purifiers we recommend. And thank you for watching.